Hey YouTube, guess what? We've got another new project. Uh, seems like this is how I open all my videos, but that's kind of how it goes. That's what I do. So we've got a David Bradley uh, hay wagon, I guess, running gear here that we're going to be uh, fixing up and repurposing for a different use. Uh, sorry if the, there's too much wind noise here. It's kind of blowing today. I'll try to protect it best I can, but what we've got this is a just an old wagon running gear that I picked up at an auction for fifty dollars you can kind of kind of tell why this is one of two we've got two identical ones uh, that we're gonna do the same thing with and basically what we're gonna do is we've got all the goats that I'd really like to do a lot more rotations with uh, on pasture we've got several paddocks and I want to move them around as much as possible and the major issues with that is I don't have water set up for them. So we're going to try to make these two rigs, uh, this, this wagon and the other one, into water wagons. So this one will track along with the goats. And then we'll set up the other one as close, as identical as we can uh, to water the cattle. So we're going to wind up putting totes, water totes on this, have a water tank and what have you. But today what we're going to do is just try and get it back in kind of operational shape ready ready for us to do all that so I'm gonna start by yanking off all these wheels um, we're gonna pull the tires off put some new tubes in and see if I can find some good used tires luckily these are 16 inch wheels so that may not be too big of a deal we're gonna do that and then probably check out the bearings on all the the hubs probably put new seals in uh, I doubt I wind up putting any new bearings in but uh, we'll clean them up and grease them anyway so uh, we'll get out of the wind here we'll see if we can get started on this get it jacked up get all these wheels off and see what we're working with they're all off had a couple issues but nothing major one uh, big thing whoever owned this before and worked on this left side of the trailer or wagon was nice enough to throw some Loctite or not Loctite uh, anti-seas on the lugs but apparently they never got around to needing to do anything on this one so I've got a broken lug there I'm gonna have to deal with probably I could run it with four probably but I'd rather not and then I've got a missing hubcap over here something else that we're gonna have to deal with pretty much all of the hubs are like this I don't know if you can see that going back and forth probably largely because that's the seal right there almost all of them are like that so they roll if the bearings are decent at all we can just get them cleaned up and grease them and we'll have to put seals on all of them off obviously but if the bearings are are decent then we can always tighten that up I'd say those those nuts just work either work loose or those bearings have worn a lot of slop in themselves but we'll take care of it whenever we get into it now we'll go uh, See if we can get some tires off. We've got the tires off, uh, got them broken down. I decided to actually do a separate video on how I did that. Uh, there's a lot of information on how to, to go through that process with a breakdown hammer and tire tools. I thought might be interesting, so uh, hop over and check that video out. But for this one, we're just gonna check out the wheels that we've got. 
Um, most of them were in pretty good shape. I thought they were in really good shape uh, when I bought the wagon, but there are a couple issues. One thing that was pretty nice is I found out that these are all 16s. Um, that'll make it a little bit easier to keep tires on them. I can keep uh, keep the takeoffs from my truck and stuff. But <clears throat> after we got them off, uh, there were a couple things. They've rusted pretty bad um, when wheels and stuff sit like this and the tires aren't full of air. Uh, water gets into them and, and causes some issues. So this one you can see We've got a valve stem hole. that's not quite round um, I'll clean that up and see how that goes um, I'll probably do some repairing on that one. Um, I am gonna run a tube so it's not as critical But I don't want any sharp edges or anything that will cut the tube This wheel here. I've already done some cleaning up. There's a uh, some some scale on the inside but this is our bigger problem that bead there apparently that tire sat down in some I don't know if the tire was flat and uh, pooled some water on it or what and that's where it sat but so we've got some repair to do there the other two appear to be in pretty good shape so I'm gonna hit all these with wire brush um, the ones that are in good shape we're gonna go ahead and paint uh, any of you David Bradley fans out there um, I'm gonna go ahead and just paint these wheels white and uh, probably paint the wagon red honestly if I paint it uh, just not a big fan of the the green and the, the brownish color that they had originally well we're several weeks later now we're finally back working on the wagon some more I've got as you can see, a couple of the wheels cleaned up and painted, but before I painted these others, I wanted to show you some of the repairs that we, we did. So here's one. You can see the, the shiny metal there. Um, so that was the one that I showed the picture, showed the video of with the holes poked through it, or the rusted through it. And what we did was I got a donor wheel and cut a section out and welded that back in if you can see that very good there so that came out pretty good um, luckily we're running tubes in these so I probably wouldn't try to do that fix if I was trying to uh, run tubeless tires but with a tube that shouldn't be an issue and then on this one over here uh, I was able to weld, grind the welds on the outside a little bit smoother there towards the bottom it's a little ugly but uh, it smoothed in, smoothed up on the inside pretty well. If you can see that, the light's not very good. There we go. It's a little bit better. So, it's not perfect, but again, it's just a farm wagon, so that'll work pretty good. We're going to get these painted up and uh, so we can get some tires on them pretty soon and see if we can get everything put together. So I used my Harbor Freight parts washer here to get everything all cleaned up. Everything came out pretty good. It's all worn plenty. Um, there's a couple, I'm gonna reuse basically all the bearings. I did have to get one new one. Uh, it, the cage had come off and rollers had fallen out of that one. Um, everything else I'm gonna reuse. Some of these have a little bit of, of pitting and stuff on them. Um, I definitely would not put them back in a car if that's what I was gonna use it for, but for this, again, it should be fine. Um, they roll pretty easy whenever I put them in there and roll them by hand, so. I'm not too worried about it. They're only gonna move a couple hundred feet a week, I think. So we're gonna get them greased up and get them put all together and then so we can get them put back on the wagon. Okay, so we're set up on our expert workbench here, and we're gonna put the, we got the seals ready to go in, we got all the bearings packed with grease. Um, so we got the seal, and a handy thing to have around is a three quarter inch drive set of sockets, because most of the time you can find one that fits the seal just right, and then I'm gonna use a dead blow hammer so I don't mark up my sockets. But we'll put these in. 
get started straight and then I'll use the hammer to make sure it's flush. One thing that's interesting about these seals that I've never seen before is they actually seal on the outer race or on the inner race, I guess, of the bearing and not on the spindle. So I thought that was interesting. But we'll get all these drove in and uh, get the bearings put on the wagon. Bearings all packed and in the hubs. We can throw them on the wagon. So I'm going to see if I can do this one handed here. This hub has got a couple wheel studs. I've got new ones for it, but. I haven't got them put in yet. Get those thrown on there. So I'll slide that on there. Um, these bearings and races are fairly worn, so they come up a little short. So I'm going to put an extra spacer washer here, so our castle nut comes out all the way to the the uh, cotter key. And the way I like to do these, it's especially on stuff like this. It's not critical. Um, I'll take and tighten that nut up and hit each spot for it for the cast or for the cotter pin. And I like to go around until I get them good and tight so they don't spin very much. You want to get all the all the grease squeezed so that it doesn't back off later. So that's fairly tight there. You can see it doesn't spin much after I spin it so I'll back it up to this next cotter key line that's pretty good there it's pretty free but we don't have any motion back and forth this way so I've got a new a new cotter key for it there uh, grab it and spin that back up like that and then should be able to throw the cap back on. All right, that should be good to go for several more years. We've got the tires mounted up now on the wheels. Everything's looking pretty good. These are pretty big tires for this. They're 305 70 16s. They're takeoffs off my brother's truck. He needed an alignment and kind of wore these tires funny. So they're good 10 ply tires. They're <laughs> they're pretty wide here, you can see, but maybe that'll give us a little flotation. Uh, they're very wide for these wheels, but we got them on there without messing up the paint too bad. So we're ready to bolt those on. We've got a parade quality paint job started here on the wagon anybody from small town america knows what i'm talking about we basically just grabbed the spray can and started spraying we're going over the top of grease and spider webs and whatever may be here but it'll make it look a lot better it'll help help protect it a little bit but i'm just not willing to go through all the paint prep on the whole wagon for that so we're going to shoot that but uh, we'll get the tires thrown on here get all this junk cleaned off the top and see if we can finish up painting it in here pretty soon We've got it looking pretty good. I got the paint almost done. I ran out just in time to not be able to get that center tube, but we've got wheels on. I still got to get those two wheel studs put in on this one. Uh, otherwise, everything's looking pretty good. The uh, paint came out all right. Um, I'm going to put probably a second coat on a few areas once I get some new paint uh, bought, but we're about ready to get started on the next part of this project. We're gonna get some four by sixes and lay on here as beams, and then we'll be setting up some IBC totes so we can build our uh, mobile livestock watering wagon. Um, that should be a pretty fun project. I'm looking forward to it. I've got some some ideas that I think are gonna work out kind of neat. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.